What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to get this tan joggers rip shirt outfit that you do see in the thumbnail. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first part and show you guys on how to get the tan joggers. So to get the tan joggers, you're going to want to go over here to this location where this clothing store is and this stunt race. Whenever you do get over here to this, lo this location, and if you don't see the stunt race, I'm going to show you guys on how to get it or have it pop up. Pull up your interaction menu, go to map blimp options, and then you're going to go to jobs. Scroll down near the bottom and you're going to see stunt race. If it is set to hide like this, it will not be here on the map. Now, if you hit right on the D-pad or if you move over by, I'm not really sure what the key is on PC, but if you guys move over to show, you will see that it does pop up on the map just like this. Now, after you have made this job pop up, you're going to want to keep your interaction menu up, go to secure serve and start an organization. Now, after you've started an organization, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style, you're going to look for the warlord outfit, which looks like this. If you can't find the warlord outfit, that means you need to buy a CEO office. Once you've bought the CEO office, then you should be able to wear the warlord outfit. Now, after you are wearing the outfit, put away your interaction menu, go into the blue circle and press right on the D-pad to enter. After you do enter the job, you don't need to change anything in the settings. You can just confirm the settings and then launch the job on your own. After you do launch the job on your own, it's going to show you your motorcycles or just random motorcycles. Scroll through the motorcycles for at least a few seconds, and then you can just go ahead and fully quit the job. Once you do fully quit the job, you will be wearing the outfit you had on before the Warlord, which you guys saw, I had this Bearsy outfit that I did create. Now just go back inside the clothing store, run up here to the front counter, and you're just going to sit here until it does kick you out. So maybe it could take up to 10 to 15 seconds. But once it does kick you out, you will see that you are wearing the Warlord outfit just like this. Now all you're going to want to do is pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO, and retire. After you retire, you are, you are still wearing the outfit. So now we can create the outfit that you see in the thumbnail. Now to create this outfit, you're going to want to go over here to the top section, scroll down until you do find t-shirts, which will be right here on slot 26, and you're going to equip the beige t-shirt on slot 76. After you've equipped the beige t-shirt, back out of t-shirts, scroll down to slot 58, which is going to be utility vest, and you're going to look for the peach plate carrier, which will be on slot 44. After you do equip the peach plate carrier and the beige t-shirt, you can now back out of your tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the tan joggers. Go over here to your accessories, click on gloves on slot 7, and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. That will be all for your accessories. So back out of your gloves, or back out of your accessories, go over here to your shoes, click on sports shoes on slot 9, and equip the all white sports shoes on slot 28. After you've done this, back out of your shoes, and now you can take off any head accessories that your character has. And now that your outfit looks like this, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, back out of the front counter, and we're just going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. When you do find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch going run by the telescope like this. Press right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place. Then look towards the telescope. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, and equip the outfit you just saved earlier at the clothing store, which should look like this. Now put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask will merge over with your outfit. All we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. Once you have made it to the gun store, go over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, you can then back out of your tops and we're going to start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job and fully start up this job. And when you learn to the job, you will see that you're not wearing the peach play carrier anymore. Now go over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, back out of your tops, pull up your phone, and you can quit the job from your phone. Whenever you have made it back into a public or an invite only session, run back inside the gun store, go over here to the tops once again, go to vest on slot 52, and equip any type of vest that looks like this. 
After you do equip a vest, a back out of vest, go to vest shirts on slot 53, and you're going to equip the white band vest shirt on slot 10. After you do equip the white band vest shirt, you can back out of your tops. Now we're going to do the merge glitch. So I will leave a link in the description for it's a G thing, and you guys can bookmark that job and do that for the merge glitch. But for me, I'm going to do the heist apartment merge, so I will get back to you when I am in my apartment. After you get to your apartment, you're going to want to go into the heist planning board room and go up here to the heist planning board. And out of all the five heist start, the first one that's called the flake of job. And you're going to need to complete the first one that's going to be called scope out. After you complete the scope out mission, the second job you need to start up, it's going to be called Kuruma. And that's going to be the one that we're going to be using for the merge glitch. Once you're in the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, and then you can confirm the settings and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. Once someone does join, you can launch the job. Now that you're in here where it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slots wherever you did save the outfit, which should look like this. Now, after your outfit looks like this, you're ready to play. Once you have loaded into the job, all you need to do now is just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Whenever you do load back into a public or an invite only session, you're going to want to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve or a motorcycle club. Once you've done this, pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, then go to Management, go to Style, and on your CEO style, scroll one time to the left, or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then one time to the right back to None. Now hop out of the car, and you will see that the or the white band t-shirt merges with the beige t-shirt just like this, and it'll look like a ripped shirt. So now all we're going to do is head over here to the mask door so we can finish the outfit with the head accessories. When you have made it to the mask door, go over here to the hats. Scroll down to combat helmets, which will be on slot 23, and you're going to scroll down until you do find the brown quad lens, which will look like this on slot 43. After you do equip the brown quad lens back onto the hats, go over here to the right side where it is at mask, and then go to ski mask on slot 20, and you're going to equip the white tight ski on slot 84. After you've done this, you can then just hit edit saved outfits and just save the outfit on any slot that you want. And that's pretty much it. If there is thermal on, just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and you can go to helmets and deactivate the thermal just like this. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this tan joggers rip shirt for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.